Hi, Amit Kumar. Welcome you all in IMD's daily weather briefing. So if you look at 24 hours rainfall which was recorded, then heavy to very heavy rainfall was recorded over Tamil Nadu, Saurashtra and Kutch regions. Then heavy rainfall was recorded over Karnataka, Telangana, Kerala, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Maharashtra respectively. If we look at station-wise rainfall, then in Tamil Nadu in Salem district, 15 centimeters of rainfall was recorded. In Tirupurur district, 12 centimeters of rainfall was recorded. In Saurashtra Kutch, in Rajkot district, 12 centimeters of rainfall was recorded. Now, if we look at uh, today's synoptic systems, then yesterday's, as it was already predicted, that under the influence of upper air cyclonic circulation over east central bay and north adjoining north and Mansi, a low pressure area is likely to form over the same region so today at 5 30 ist a low pressure area is formed over east central bay of bengal and adjoining north and Mansi. it is likely to move west northwestward and intensify into a depression by 22nd october and into a cyclonic storm by 23rd october Thereafter, it is likely to move northwestward and reach North Bay of Bengal of Odisha and West Bengal coasts by 24th October morning. The another low pressure area which was present over West uh, Central Arabian Sea, uh, now it uh, the associated cyclonic circulation now extends up to 3.1 kilometers and it is likely to weaken further in into uh, during next 12 hours then the upper air cyclonic circulation there is uh, there is a another upper air cyclonic circulation over tamil nadu and neighborhood and it extends up to middle tropospheric level there is also one more uh, upper air cyclonic circulation over east uh, central arabian sea of north Karnataka coast and it extends up to uh, lower tropospheric level. A cyclonic circulation over East Bangladesh and neighborhood also extends up to middle troposphere. So under the influence of all these weather systems, the ma major highlights are the low pressure area over East Central Bay of Bengal and adjoining Andaman Sea and its further intensification into a depression by 22nd October and into a cyclonic storm by 23rd October. Also under the influence of this system, uh, extremely heavy, isolated extremely heavy rainfall is very likely over Odisha, GWB on 24th and 25th October and today there are chances of very heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu on 21st October that is today. So now if we look at a region wise rainfall then as I have already informed you that uh, there is a low pressure system in Bay of Bengal and it is likely to intensify into a cyclonic storm by 23rd October. So very heavy rainfall warnings are issued for Odisha on 23rd and 26th October. Heavy to very heavy rainfall at few places with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places are also very likely over Odisha and GWB on 24th and 25th of October. In GWB also on 23rd October there are chances of heavy rainfall. Then if we talk about Andaman Nicobar Islands then there are chances of heavy rainfall today that is on 21st October. In case of Jharkhand there is chance of heavy rainfall at few places on 24th of October. If we talk about South Peninsula then isolated very heavy rainfall is very likely over Tamil Nadu today that is on 21st of October. Isolated heavy rainfall is also very likely over Kerala, uh, coastal uh, uh, and uh, south interior Karnataka from 21st to 23rd of October, north interior Karnataka on 21st of October, Tamil Nadu on 22nd and 23rd October and coastal Andhra Pradesh on 24th and 25th of October. If we talk about West India, then isolated heavy rainfall is likely over Konkan Goa, Madhya Maharashtra, Marathwada, Gujarat state on 21st of October, that is today. 
So if you talk about fishermen warning, then in this graphic you can see that for today there are chances of squally weather and wind speed ranging from 35 to 45 and gusting to 55 kmph over east central bay, parts of adjoining west central bay, north and man sea and uh, so north uh, south e east bay of bengal then under the influence of depression and subsequently under the influence of cyclonic storm the whole central bay of bengal and north bay of bengal are likely to experience uh, cs uh, cyclonic storm gale winds with a speed of 60 to 90 kmph and gusting to 100 kmph on 23rd and 24th of October and on 25th of October severe cyclonic storm uh, winds gale winds of 90 to 110 kilometers per hour gusting to 120 km per hour are likely to prevail over North Bay of Bengal and adjoining regions on 25th and 26th of October. So all our fishermen brothers are requested to come from deep sea and not to venture into Bay of Bengal during next five days because of this system. You can join us on our Mosum app, Mosum website and on our various social media handles where you will be updated with uh, weather information. Namaskar Jai.